Hello, Muslim Latin, how are you? I'm okay. You are a non-Muslim, correct? Right, right. I'm a, I'm a non-Muslim. I'm, I'm actually a Christian. Okay. I'm okay. How are you? How can I help you? If Islam is false, would you leave Islam, Muslim Latin? What do you think of what you know of me? What do you think? I think that, I think that you would leave. Okay, excellent. So I would leave. Yes, absolutely. Because I'm you a leave Islam. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, why do you, I kind of know why you, well, maybe I don't know why you believe, but in Islam, you, you don't believe that Jesus was crucified or died. Is that correct? Yes. We don't believe Jesus was killed or crucified. That is correct. Okay. According to the Quran, okay. chapter 4, verse 157, specifically. Okay. Are you aware that Jesus himself prophesied that he will die? Uh, okay. Where did he prophesy that he will die? In the, in the Gospels written about him. Where? You want me to give you uh, specific verses? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Tell me what, what you're referring okay. to exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, if you give me a moment, I can pull some up. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So you while I'm pulling up the verse... You said he prophesied his death. So that's prophesied what is not the right word. He did uh, mention that he will die. So, so, okay. um, so he mentioned I don't want to use die. the word prophesy, but I want to say that he did tell his disciples that he will die, that okay. he will be killed. Okay. He yeah. will be killed is different than he will die. Which one is it? Because he will die and everyone dies. Is it he will die? You get killed, killed, you die. Okay. He if will... you get killed and you don't die, we don't say that you were killed. So he is going to get killed, not, not just that he's going to die. He will be killed and he will die. He will be buried. And then on the third day, he will rise again from the dead. Okay. So he, that's what he said. What he said. Now, look, the claim, I'm just, I'm just trying to make the claim clear. So when we go to the text, we're clear. The claim is he said to his disciples, he is going to die and he's going to rise on the third day. He's going to get killed and he's going to rise on the third day. That's what you said. That's what he told his disciples. So please show us that in the Bible. All right. Give me, give me a second. I don't have the verses in my head, right? Okay. So one of the verses is Matthew 16, 21. Can you mm -hmm. see me just fine? I can or see am you. I like um, blocked no, you're by fine. some? You're fine. Okay, okay. Right, so one of the verses is Ma Matthew 16, 21. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Another one is uh, Mark 8, 31. No, 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 you have to read it. You said it says. Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, we need to know what he said, isn't it? Not what people say he yeah. said. What did he yeah, say? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so if, we, if I start with uh, Matthew... It says that from that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Okay, so that's not Jesus speaking. That's someone speaking on behalf of Jesus. And I don't need to From that, that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go. Okay. So the author of Matthew is saying that Jesus began to speak to his disciples and explain to them that he must go to Jerusalem and when he gets there, he will be killed and on the third day, he'll rise again from the dead. Okay. So we it is quoting with... Jesus in this passage. Okay, no. That is incorrect because there's something called the Red Letter Bible and it, it has the words of Jesus when it says Jesus said. And when Jesus said, then we take the words of Jesus one word for word. Here is someone speaking on behalf of Jesus Whoever, which is the Red Letter is. Bible is just a creation look, look, by Bible allow, publishers. Look, 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 Sam, Sam, Sam. All I right. allow to finish. All right, you have ahead. to have mutual Sorry. respect, right? I didn't interrupt Sorry. you. Look, it's, it's a very simple thing I'm saying. I asked you where Jesus said, not when someone says on behalf of Jesus. I didn't say what the Bible says because the Bible says many things. Many people, anyone speaks in the Bible, it's okay. We're talking about Jesus. Where does Jesus say what you said? He said to his disciples, I will be killed and I will rise on the third day. Where did Jesus say that? Not what the, his disciples said he said. Because some of his disciples were, were not trustworthy. Like, for example, what did Judas do? <laughs> like, so just because someone was a disciple and was walking and was pretending to be a disciple does not necessarily mean everything he says is accurate. Those same disciples disagreed with one another. They disagreed with many things. So uh, you, you, just you because are, one yeah. disciple says something, it does not necessarily mean that that's now what you refer to as gospel truth. Where is the words of Jesus? The words of Jesus are recorded in the gospel. That is the simple answer I'm going to give you. The words of okay. Jesus are recorded in the gospel. The gospels are biographies of Jesus' life and ministry. Mm -hmm. And um, the authors would quote Jesus whenever Jesus would speak. So your question is a bit irrational, right? If you're asking me where did Jesus say A, B, and C, I just gave you the quotation. The, the author specifically says that Jesus said to his disciples, so that is a quotation from Jesus. What about that don't you understand? Help me to understand you. Okay, I think what I said was very clear, but I'll repeat it in a simple way. The Bible says, for example, in John 
chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said, I'm the way. So now it quotes Jesus speaking verbatim. The verse you brought is not Jesus speaking verbatim. It is someone saying that Jesus told us this and this and that. And that is not the same thing. And if you do not understand the difference between the two, I'm sorry, I cannot help you. So um, the Bible has quotations of it, Jesus. It is the same thing. It is the same thing. Everything that you are saying, right? If I should repeat the same thing to someone else, or if I should say to someone else, Muslim lantern says A, B, and C. You could I be am lying. quoting Muslim lantern. Can you and be if lying? I misquote you, you can, you can possibly take me to court for libel because you, you can say that he said, I said this and I didn't say that. So it is the same thing. You are trying to create a false dichotomy because you don't want to accept that Jesus actually said that he will die. Okay. And Muslims okay. do this all the time. What you're saying is not new. I've heard this before. We've heard this before. You try okay. to create a false dichotomy to say that Jesus did not say A, B, and C. It's somebody else saying that Jesus said. It's the same thing in the court of law. Okay. There's no need for ye ye uh, yelling, you know? I don't know why you're yelling. I'm next to you, you know? I'm not. Too I'm very passionate, look, so it comes across as yelling, so forgive me. No problem. Uh, look, my point is very simple. Your argument refutes you, what you just said. If you, Sam, said, I had the Muslim la lantern saying X, Y, and Z, you could be lying, you could be saying the truth, you could be fabricating information about me. So that is not the same as when I say something, people hear me say one, two, three, because that is now coming directly from the source, which is me. Whatever so when you, you say claim, has to be reported. Again, please, please, correct? look, I don't interrupt you and you interrupt me all the time. That's not good, right? I mean, people can see that, right? I let you finish, I let you speak to the end, and then I speak. This is how it should be. Look, it's very simple. Now, you, what, your, your argument, as I said, refuted you because you said that if I say to the people, Muslim land, citizen, that you could be lying and you could go to court, which means that you can be lying, which means that that is not the same as the person himself speaking. So once that is established, now, for the sake of argument, what I like to do is something called steel man your argument. So I will accept what you say for the sake of argument. Let's accept the author of that gospel said that Jesus said to him this and this and that. Let's accept this reality. Now, my question to you is, who is the author of the gospel? Who is that man? We believe that man to be a follower of Jesus, a disciple. Who, who, who? What's his name? What the date of birth? Uh, full name, uh, family, history, biography. Who he is? Who is he? Do you know the, the names and the date of birth and the family history of your companions who, who gave you yes. the Quran or the Hadith? Yes, yes, yes. Name, name, no, you name don't. them. No, no, look, you, you asked the question. Look, look, Sam, you, look, you have to be honest now. Name any companion you like in any yeah, authentic let me, let me, Wait, yeah, wait, Sam, 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 yeah. Sam, no, 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 Sam, Sam. I, li I like what you said because it's a good representation of the difference between Muslims and Christians. Right now, Google search, give me any name of any com companion, I'll get you the biography of that person. Go ahead. Right. I don't know your, the, your companions by names. Yeah. I don't know your companions. Uh, you, you said, do you know? Look, there are... Tens, hundreds actually, not tens, hundreds of books written in something that we call the science of men. And these books record the biographies of every single narrator, not just the companions of the prophet, but their students and the students of their students and the students of the students of their students. So we can know that these people are actually transmitting reliable information to us. So we know exactly who these individuals are. We know their biography. We know their history. We know everything about them. So there is a difference between us and you now, I, but that is, still doesn't help you because our companions don't help your good disciples. I'm asking you, who is the author of that gospel? Because you made a claim that Jesus said something. Who is the author of that gospel? What is his history, biography, life? Just like I can present, as I said, from the companions of the Prophet, please tell us, who is that man? Who is that person? Well, I just told you, it's, it's attributed to Matthew, who, one who of is, the disciples. Who, who, okay, what is his full name? When, he was, when is he born? When did it, doesn't, he it doesn't matter what his full name is. If the guy was a companion was of he Jesus, married? Disciple, was he married? Was he married? Huh? Did he have children? Was he married? Some of them were married. Some of them were not married. No, no. We're talking about one now, Matthew. Was he married? Who was his, was his wife? Did he have children? I don't know if he was married. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know that information. Okay. So let me get this straight. You've got the first name of an individual. Ho Matthew. Hold your horses there. Hold your horses. Hold your horses for a second there. Okay. I just gave you one scripture, right? There are four gospels where Jesus speaks about his death. I just gave you one scripture. So don't try to stand on that one scripture I made the case that we don't know who this is. If we I don't know who not... this is, there are three more, three more gospels that all agree that Jesus said he will die. Okay, okay. Now, uh, let me ask the same question. Okay, let's ask the same question. In the, uh, John, or let's actually say Luke, or let's say uh, the third one, right? Mark, Matthew, Luke, and Joe. Mark. So... Tell me who's the, what is the full name of Mark? Was he married? Did he have children? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. 
if we don't have all the information about them. What matters is whether their books is reliable or not. Whether we know Matthew's name, his mother, whether he was married, how many children, what he did for a living, it does not matter. What matters is, is this literature reliable or not? That is the, that is the question that needs to be answered, right? Okay. What you are bringing up is, excuse me to say, doesn't make any sense. You are okay, so. you're saying that you need to know everything about whoever writes a piece of literature before maybe you can trust it. That may be your standard, but that is not the standard that historians go by when they're trying to figure out if they should believe a piece of literature from the past or not. Thank okay. you. So, so you said what matters is whether the scripture is reliable or not. I wholeheartedly agree with you. So you're claiming having a text written on uh, hundreds of years later, separate from the event. It's not place. hundreds of, hundreds please, of years please, later. Look, 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 Sam, next time I'll remove you. With all the respect, because look, I've been nice with you a few times, right? I'll let you finish what you say. I don't interrupt you, but you do, you do it multiple times. You have to let me answer you, right? Because people need to understand what I'm saying. So you've got a literature that is written hundreds of years separate from the source. You've got it's not written name. hundreds of years later, bro. If you make if you make an error, I'm going to jump in okay, and correct you. Okay, this is the last warning it's I'm going to give you, Sam. Sam, Sam hundreds Sam. of years later. The Sam. Gospels are written. Okay, I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to just scream and shout and then not let me finish my sentence. This is not how discussion works. And now he left the backstage. He's he's rage he rage quit. You know, when he says this is not written hundreds of years later, uh, the, the this is a fact. You've got the earliest manuscripts. You have the Codex Sinaiticus and the Codex Vaticanus, which date from 360 onwards after the death of Jesus, the alleged death that they believe in. So it is fourth century manuscripts, nearly 400 years separate from Jesus. That's the earliest full Bible that exists. Anyone can Google this information. So we've got a, a scripture that is written 400 years separate from the source. And you have it written, all you know is the first name of an individual who wrote it. And you accept all his information to be wholesale true. And you're saying that that does not matter for the reliability of the scripture. Anyone can say anything and it's okay, we'll accept it. So if someone comes after me 400 years later and writes information about me and says Muhammad said, and we all we have is his first name, then everything he says is true. This is the, his standard for truth and falsehood and what is correct and what is not correct. And then he's getting upset when I'm trying to explain it myself, you know. So this is like, this is, and he says Muslims are this, is a brother, look, you're not even allow me to speak. Like, I don't know what you're talking about.